Hey, Cornmo. Thanks so much for dropping by. Well, I got your message. I came over as fast as I could. So what's up? All right, listen closely. Aliens are attacking me. From outer space? Exactly. I just got word that one threw a rock at my apartment at 12 p.m. on the dot today. At the moment they threw it, it had a velocity of zero miles per second and an acceleration of two miles per second per second. And I'm assuming that the acceleration will remain at two miles per second squared with no deviation? That's correct. When they threw the rock, it started out one trillion miles away from my apartment. So I assume it'll take quite a while to get there, correct? Wrong. Every second, the velocity of that rock increases two miles per second. So at zero seconds, the velocity is zero miles per second. At one second, the velocity is two miles per second. At two seconds, the velocity is four miles per second, and so on. That still doesn't seem like a big deal. It doesn't? Well, to get the distance traveled, you draw a graph of the velocity over time and take the area under the curve. In this case, the graph is a straight line with slope two. So the formula ends up being y equals two x, where x is time and y is velocity. Thus, the area under the curve is a triangle with legs x and 2x. So the area of that triangle is x times 2x divided by 2, which is x squared. Ooh, and the rock starts out 1 trillion miles away. So it'll reach me in the square root of 1 trillion, which equals 1 million seconds, which means that you get a total of 11 days, 13 hours, 46 minutes, 40 seconds from noon today until your apartment is crushed. That's not a lot of time. Well, enjoy it while you can, buddy. What if the initial velocity was zero miles per second and the acceleration was always zero miles per second per second? Well, then the rock would remain one trillion miles away from your home at all times. What if the acceleration was always zero miles per second per second and the velocity was two miles per second? Then the rock would head toward you at a velocity of two miles per second the whole time hitting your apartment five billion seconds after it was thrown, which is well over 15,000 years from now. And what if the initial velocity was zero miles per second and the initial acceleration was zero miles per second per second, yet that acceleration increased at a steady rate of one mile per second per second per second? Well, the acceleration has an equation of y equals x, where x is time and y is acceleration. So the velocity will be the area under the curve of that equation, or the integral of that curve, as some people call it. The resulting equation is y equals x squared divided by 2, where x is time and y is velocity. Oh, so you got to take one more integral to get the distance curve. Yes, sir. That gives you y equals x cubed divided by 3 divided by 2, which simplifies to x cubed divided by 6, where x is time and y is distance. When y is 1 trillion, that means x is approximately 18,171. Thus, the rock would hit your place in less than five hours. What? I wouldn't even get to watch must-see TV tonight. Sorry, man. Math pros, math pros, it's the end of the show. We are letting you go till the next episode. Try to crack the code, keep solving the play. Loosen up, do a couple math problems a day.